But it was really good. Ah! That Easter really like set me off. I just feel guilty, like what making anyone else deal with that. Get back in here. These kids are testing me in every way. Come on, we gotta be quiet. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> They're sleeping. Anyway, Eli is asleep. He's been asleep for a couple of hours, so I expect that he will wake up pretty soon. It gave me a chance to get ready for the day. I haven't put myself together all week. <laughs> So I was like, oh, I need to like do my hair. So I want to know if it's anyone else's experience. When you have a baby and you have like multiple older kids, four plus years, do they regress when you bring the baby home? Or is, there, is it just mine? Because like, I feel like the older kids and even Emerson, but like it's kind of expected with a two year old. Um, but like even the older kids are testing me. They're like, oh, mommy is busy with a baby. Let's see what I can get into. Are the rules the same? <laughs> it's not too bad, but it does get under my skin like after a while. It's very, it's very frustrating, especially if I am nap trapped or I can't like raise my voice a little bit because the baby's sleeping or he's nursing and I can't really do anything. Like they really just like see what they can get away with and it's really, really hard. It's really hard. <laughs> Back when I was pregnant, I was drinking the heck out of coconut juice. Coconut milk, I'm sorry. Coconut water, oh my goodness. Um, and I was putting pineapple juice and cranberry juice with it and it was so good, but it was like a lot of sugar, like that's a lot of juice. Um, and I'm still wanting to drink the coconut water, but I don't want all the extra sugar, so I am trying coconut water with lemon juice. We'll see, oh, and sugar, like the fake stuff. Linda. I'm going to make me one. I have not tried it yet, but I want to find something that I can continue to drink my coconut water with. And actually, I've never tried just coconut water. Let me try that. It's pretty bland. I mean, it kind of just doesn't taste like anything. Put some ice, coconut water, squeeze, squeeze this whole lemon in there, and try it out. Bye. I'll let you try it in a minute. Hold on. Try this. I will have a whole. You can have it. You can have that. And you can have this. Y'all are crazy. Baby woke up. <laughs> oh, we're gonna be fussy. But it's really good. Oliver has decided he doesn't like lemon. I'm so impressed with him lately. He's been sleeping so well in his bassinet. I actually got like a whole night full of sleep last night. It's amazing. Oh gosh. This is what we do every night. We put everybody to sleep, come in here, we hang out. Usually he's fuzzing. Usually he's like super cranky and he's doing his witching hour thing and it's usually not a good time, but he's doing really good right now. <laughs> it's been a really good day because I think because we all got the sleep we needed and he's snapped really well today. Talk to him. Talk to him. <laughs> we actually are supposed to have a soccer game in the morning, um, but it's supposed to rain all night and all morning. So I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think we're going to have a soccer game. I will be surprised if we do. Look at that spit up. Oh my goodness.
the only reason I do not like living in the country. These things right here, I pulled two of them off Oliver and Liam last night before bed. Why is it on <laughs> my tripod? Oh my gosh, it's so disgusting. Ah. Okay, normally I would go get like some tweezers, but I don't want to lose them. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Ah! Look at that. Oh my gosh. Going in the toilet. Going in the toilet right now. There are so many bugs I can handle. Ticks are not one of them. Anyway, now that that's out of the way, I can make breakfast. The boys did have oatmeal this morning because we were supposed to go to a soccer game at 8.30. It's raining, um, but they didn't cancel until like an hour before the game. So of course they were already up, pretty much ready and dressed and had eaten some oatmeal. But that was super early, it's only 9.30. Yes, good job, you're eating your apple. What? Oh, you got hair on it, okay. You can throw it away if you want. Put it in the trash. So I'm gonna make some pancakes. If I say it too loud, everybody will lose their minds. I did not get as good a sleep last night as I did the night before, um, which, you know, you can't expect babies to do great every night. Oh, and there he is, he's waking up. He's not supposed to be waking up. I swear babies know when you're trying to do something. Yes, you do. Yes, they do. He's been asleep for maybe 30 minutes. Oh, I know, I know. Also, our internet is out. Another perk of living in the country. Not gonna lie, getting interrupted by a baby used to like really trigger me. Like if I was trying to do something and the baby was supposed to be sleeping or was happy and like as soon as I would start doing it like they would wake up like that used to really like set me off and it probably still will at times because like after a while it's like you just feel like you can't do anything but by your fourth kid you kind of just roll with the punches you're like well I'll do that later whatever it is I can wait like it's yes and we get interrupted by toddlers to um and you just roll with it anyway he's eating again he's nursed so many times uh this morning because he's really tired and wants to sleep and i don't know why he's not staying asleep but again you just roll with it all right we got baby here moby wrap is ready in case he gets unhappy which he will <laughs> i know he will um and i'm gonna get these pancakes made then we have a grocery pickup order <laughs> pick up groceries and you need your phone to check in and all that so I had to walk in there tell them who I was and everything but not a big deal it's just like I'm annoyed with myself anyway I left the kids with Noni all four of them which was is really crazy for me because like the hardest thing about having a baby for me is leaving them with other people <laughs> Um, for some reason in my head, like if they're crying and losing their mind and all that, it's like better if they do that with me than someone else. Like I just feel guilty, like what making anyone else deal with that. Um, and on top of that, I feel like the baby, even if they're crying and crying and crying and I can't even console them, like for some reason, I think like they're still like not as upset if they're with me. <laughs> than if they're with somebody else like if they're with someone else they feel abandoned i know that's so um probably not true and um no logic behind that reasoning but that's how i feel so it's really hard for me to leave babies but it was really the best situation because 
it's raining and I did not want to load all four of my kids up in the rain and then have to unload all the groceries and the kids in the rain and then on top of that like he hasn't taken a good nap so um he just like needs to take a nap and I knew if I put him in the car he would fall asleep but then he would wake up while I'm waiting on the groceries because that's happened now two times um so I just was like torn I was like well I know he'll fall asleep if I take him with me but will it be a good enough nap okay um so hopefully he's not being too difficult kids just sometimes do better for other people than their moms like a lot of the time so <laughs> um I probably shouldn't worry too much about it but I've got my groceries I'm gonna probably stop and get coffee because I need it for this day and Scooters is literally right across the street. It's super funny because we're having to use like DVD, DVDs and DVD player uh, for TV today because it's raining. <laughs> Liam is literally, he is so fascinated with the DVDs. He's like, wow. You know, because it's like an ancient artifact for them. <laughs> he wants to put the DVDs in and press play and he's like looking at all of them and I'm just kind of like surprised at how many DVD like kid movies we have. Probably have like 10 kid movies at least. I got cold brew with sweet cream and caramel syrup. This is not looking like enough cold foam for me. <laughs> uh, so I've not tried this before, but I am feeling a little bit, um, I'm not very confident in this right now. Um, all I got was cold foam, so it was good. All right, back at home. Eli is definitely in his spit up era. He's nursing right now, cause that's all he does. <laughs> Update on the coffee situation. So I got home and I straight up tried to stir the cold brew with the cold foam. I dumped it. Cause it wasn't mixing up. I dumped it into another cup, dumped it back into that cup, dumped it into the cup again. I did a whole like a shaker thing. Um, it will not mix. Like it would separate again. I will show you guys next time I get it. But I was completely um, like, I was just stunned that it did that. Because I think, I've never done it that much at the, with the Starbucks cold brew, but it like, it, it does this. <laughs> Like the cold foam at Starbucks will just like seep into your coffee eventually. But I'm gonna say this, like it actually was really good. Like it was, uh oh, somebody's mad. I've got scratches all over me from baby. The way it was made, you would just get a little cold foam with the coffee. And like I still had cold foam left at the end of the drink. Just crazy. Like I don't know what the what magical spell that is, but it was really cool. All right. Hey, baby. Stay over here. Get that. We are going to that gold god. This one. Here we go. All right.